welcome back to my channel, Pixie Candle. First, you'll get the apple eye gloves. Today we're going to try to make using diamond dust powder into the ceramic, um, well not ceramic, concrete candle vessel. These are some of the things that I use all the time with the exception of course of this, but I'm really excited to try it, so here we go. Let's see. I'm going to be using black today because this, um, the diamond dust shows really well within the black concrete. The black concrete that I prefer to use, Buddy Rhodes um, Carbon Black. It is a little expensive to ship, but let me tell you, you won't regret it. It is literally the best. This is one that I made the other day with some gold leafing. As you can see, the black is just phenomenal. And I start with about this much. I'll put it into my cup. And because I'm making the lid and the candle vessel, I use a little bit more. So I keep the black in it because I mean the bag. Then you will need water, which I have pre-poured into here. I use bottled water. And I'll mix it with the color. Just mixing it in. I only use bottled water, I do not use tap water. I always keep some water in a separate red solo cup just so I don't have to keep pulling out my stash. So that's just the water. And then I take out my cement off. The powder, the cement does uh, create a dust, so you definitely want to um, have your mask on, your safety mask. I personally just use a little silicone pour thing. You don't need a lot of water. Normally the ratio is um, four to one. One part water to four parts cemento. I've also played around with adding some plaster of Paris to make my vessels even stronger. And if you'd like to see that on the video, please comment below. I've heard people say that they get their cement mixture like a pancake consistency, but realize that not everybody's pancakes are the same. Some are thin, some are thick. For me, this is I, my experience. When you pour it too thin, you do get cracks in your vessel and obviously, and making candle vessels, then you don't 
want the cracks in it. This is the first time I'm going to be using the diamond dust. I'm wicked excited. All right. So, I do not pour with this on it. I like to be able to tap out all the air bubbles. So. And I've heard that this... Diamond dust is very, very, very sharp. It's very beautiful though. I'm gonna just spread some around the outside first. So pretty. I'll move that one to the side and for extra formation I just put some tight rubber bands around it. Next I'm going to pour the lid. With this one I think I'm going to put the diamond dust on the inside of this first. Because I just want the top of the lid to be extra glittery. I don't really care about the inside.
right. So we will see how that turns out in a couple of hours. Make sure you put your lids back on your diamond desk because it is glass shards and you will get glass splinters. So stay tuned to see how this turns out. Earlier in the video, I used diamond dust for the first time. It is basically shard glass. Um, so I did put my gloves back on to unmold this. And it is cute. It is um, cool enough so that I can demold it. So we'll be demolding it together first. Um, first glance, don't know if you could see it, but you see those awesome sparkles. It still needs to be sanded down after demolding because it is glass. Um, I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt, um, but it, it cured the same way that my other vessels that I make would, so that's a good sign. Let me check out the lid. You can see this one's going to need some more sanding because it's got some concrete sticking up in little places. But overall, so far, it has definitely got that bling effect that I really like. So let's go ahead and do the lid first, okay? Every time I make a concrete or cement vessel, um, the funnest part for me is taking the mold out um, because it's truly like Christmas. You really don't know what you're going to get. So this is the first time that I've used the diamond dust in it. So let's see. Yeah, okay. So first thought, <laughs> it didn't really do get the effect that I wanted because you can see the concrete, it was too many like air bubbles, I think, in it. So Either that or it's because I, I dumped some of the diamond dust, aka glass, into the, the mold. Um, I didn't mix it into the cement, so next time I pour it, I'll probably mix it into the cement, incorporate it in, because when it's actually in the cement, you can see that it even still gets some glitter effect, but this is, this is just the lid, so I feel safe enough to use it. I don't like the fact that it came apart on the sides, but I do love the effect of the glass. And as you can see, I do need to, now I need to clean this out because now I have glass stuck in my mold. So this is going to be the real test right here. I'm a little nervous, but let's just try it. Probably, probably wound up on the inside of the candle vessel, which I really wanted it to be on the outside. Yeah, I don't see any except for on the bottom. So yeah, there's a little few sparkles in, in it, but not, not much. Yeah, it, it wound up on the inside of the vessel and it really 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 does look beautiful but using the carbon black from Buddy Rose you can see it around the the rim so it, it does look very pretty but it's not the effect that I wanted the bottom is how I really wanted the outside of this so what I might do is use the um, diamond dust and go gently around the outside once I water bathe and seal the candle vessel. I'll probably go along the outside after I seal it 
and I will use the same um, adhesive that I use for my when I gold when I gold leaf the candle vessels like this. I'll probably use the same adhesive um, and do some patterns along the outside. Um, like I said, this is an experiment for me using the diamond dust within the concrete, but I love the black. Hello, can we talk? I can actually feel the sharpness of this. So I'm gonna sand this down and see how that looks. But the lid actually does look very pretty. I have to sand it down because that didn't work. <laughs> so, but the lid turned out beautiful. It's just the, it did not get anywhere like I wanted it other than the bottom and so that is how I hand make my concrete candle vessels with the tipsy candle I do like the top of this let me know in the comments what you think and if you want to see more videos like this please drop a comment subscribe and let me know what you would like me to make all in all I think the diamond dust is okay um, for a more um, blinged out look on your tops of your vessels and maybe using adhesive on the outside or along the rims. Um, it is shard glass, so please be careful when you're working with this. Doesn't really show up too much in the carbon black um, pigment from Buddy Rhodes, but it, it truly is beautiful. Um, just not enough for me to actually continue to make these like this. <laughs> so let me know what you think guys. And if you wanna try it, if you have any questions, reach out to me in the comments and I will do my best to get back to each and every one of you for now. Have a great day. And remember to, when you're feeling tipsy, well, just go to the website, www.thetipsycandle.com.